classification of hypoglycemic drugs. So there are two categories. Drugs that increase insulin secretion, which are also called insulin secretagogues, and drugs that act by other mechanisms. Drugs that increase insulin secretions, there are four categories. First, sulfonylureas, megalitinides, glucagon-like peptide 1 agonist or incretin agonist, and last, dipeptidyl peptidase 4 or DPP4 inhibitors. In sulfonylureas, we have first generation drugs and the second generation drugs. In first generation drugs, we have chlorpropamide, tolbutamide. In second generation drugs, we have gliclazide, glipizide, glimepiride, and glibenclimide. So, do you observe something? Yeah. So, in all these drugs, GLI, let us GLI is present in a prefix, which means that GLI letters are present in the beginning of the words. In all the other drugs, GLI or GLU will come as infix, which means at the middle of the words. So let us check out. Moving to megalitinides, we have two drugs, repaglinide and nateglinide. So again, if you observe, GLI is coming in the middle of the word as an infix. And if you also observe the red letter words in the box title, GLI and NIDE. If you combine them, it becomes glenide. So both these drugs are glenides, repaglenide and nateglenide. Moving to glucagon-like peptide 1 in agonist or incretin agonist. So we have liraglutide, dulaglutide, albiglutide and exenatide. If you again observe the red letter words, there is GLU glue and TIDE tide. So if you combine them, it becomes glutide. So all these drugs are glutides. Also, the letters GLU as an inflix in the middle of the words. Now moving to dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors. We have three drugs, citagliptin, vildagliptin and saxagliptin. So if you again observe the red letter words, YL, PT and IN. If you combine them, it becomes gliptin. So all these drugs are gliptins. Now, before moving forward, which of these category of drugs is given orally and which is given parenterally? So, sulfonylureas are oral drugs. Megalitinides are oral drugs. Dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitors are oral drugs. But, glucagon-like peptide 1 agonists are parenteral drugs. So, if you observe here, any drug which is ending with the letter TIDE, T-I-D-E, TIDE, will be a parenteral drug. We will check in the next category of drugs also. So now coming to the drugs acting by other mechanisms. Here we have five categories. The bigonides, thiazolidine deons, alpha-glucosidase inhibitors, SGLT2 inhibitors, and amylin analog. Bigonides activates the enzyme AMPK, thereby it reduces hepatic glucose production, it increases glucose uptake, and there is only one important drug available here, which is metformin. And this is the most common antidiabetic drug used across the world. Moving on to thiazolidine dions. These drugs activate the nuclear receptor PPAR gamma. They increase insulin-mediated glucose uptake in liver, muscle, and adipose tissue. Here we have two drugs, pioglutazone and rosiglutazone. If you check the red letter words, A, Z, O, and N, E, if you combine them, it becomes azone. So both these drugs are azones, pioglitazone and rosiglitazone. Again, the letters GLI is coming as an infix in the middle of the words. Moving on to alpha-glucosidase inhibitors, they inhibit alpha-glucosidase enzyme in the intestine and therefore reduces intestinal glucose absorption. Here we have three drugs, acarbose, voglibose and miglitol. Moving on to SGLT2 inhibitors. So these drugs inhibit SGLT2 transporter in the renal tubule. They reduce glucose reabsorption and increase urinary glucose excretion. Here we again we have two drugs, canagliflozin and depagliflozin. So how do you remember this? This is interesting because if you check the red letter words G L I F L O Z I N, G L stands for glucose, I stands for increase, F L O Z stands for flow and IN stands for urine. So gliflozins, which are canagliflozin and dapagliflozins, they increase glucose flow in urine. Last, we have amylin analog. They activate amylin receptors in the brain. They reduce glucagon release and they delay gastric emptying and reduce appetite. We have only one drug here, which is pramlintide. 
So if you again observe the red letter word L I N lin, so this will again pramlinide also has lin, and since it is a peptide, it ends with the letter tide, so it becomes pramlinide. Now we will check which of these drugs are given orally and which are given parenterally. So bigonides are given orally, thiazolidine deons are given orally, alpha glucosidase inhibitors are given orally. SGLT2 inhibitors are again given orally, but a myelin analog is given parenterally. So we checked in the previous slide that glucagon-like peptide one agonist, which were ending with the letters T I D E tides. Again here, a myelin analog which is ending with the letter T I D E tides. So any drug which is ending with tide are parenteral drugs. All the other ones are oral drugs. Thanks for watching, and if you like the content, please like and share. and subscribe to the channel so that you remain updated with the latest content